Generations of Computers Welcome to the journey through time as we explore the generations of computers. Let's discover how computers have evolved over the years. First Generation, 1940s to 1950s Our journey begins with the first generation of computers, from the 1940s to the 1950s. These computers were huge, taking up entire rooms. They used vacuum tubes for circuitry and punch cards for input and output. For storage, they relied on magnetic drums and punched tapes. These were slow and could only store limited data. An example of a first-generation computer is the ENIAC. Second generation, 1950s to 1960s. Next, we move to the second generation. These computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes, making them smaller, faster, and more reliable. They still used punch cards, but they also introduced magnetic tape and magnetic cores for storage. This allowed for faster data access and more storage capacity. A famous second-generation computer is the IBM 1401. Third generation, 1960s to 1970s. The third generation brought us even smaller and more efficient computers, thanks to integrated circuits. These tiny circuits packed lots of transistors into a small chip, making computers faster and more affordable. Storage devices improved with the introduction of magnetic disks, like hard drives, which allowed for quicker access to larger amounts of data. During this era, we started using keyboards and monitors for input and output. The IBM 360 is a well-known example of a third-generation computer. Fourth generation, 1970s present. Now, we arrive at the fourth generation, where we are today. These computers use microprocessors, entire computer processors on a single chip. This innovation led to the development of personal computers, PCs, that we use at home, school, and work. Storage devices also advanced, with floppy disks, CDs, DVDs, and eventually solid-state drives, SSDs, providing faster and more reliable ways to store and access data. Examples of fourth-generation computers include the Apple II and IBM PC. Fifth generation, present future. Finally, let's peek into the future with the fifth generation. These computers are still evolving and are known for their use of artificial intelligence, AI, and advanced processing techniques. In terms of storage, we are now looking at cloud storage and quantum storage, which offer nearly unlimited space and speed. Think of technologies like supercomputers and quantum computers that will continue to shape the future of computing. From room-sized machines to powerful devices that fit in our hands, computers and their storage devices have come a long way. And who knows what amazing advancements the future holds. The story of computers is just beginning. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video. Thank you.